The specimen holder with the trimmed specimen is placed and locked into the segment arc. By adjusting the segment arc, the specimen is moved precisely to the zero position. A glass knife with a trough attached is secured in the knife holder and the clearance angle adjusted to 6 degrees. The knife block is then moved towards the specimen and clamped. Using the track wheel, the knife is now moved towards the sample while observing it through the stereo microscope. Before sectioning can begin, knife and specimen have to be aligned. The backlight is switched on and the upper part of the knife block is swiveled to the zero position. A wedge-shaped gap indicates misalignment and can be corrected by rotating the knife using the knobs of the precision drive. The fine step approach of the knife to the specimen is performed with the precision advance. This has a variable step size down to 0.1 micrometer. Using the higher magnification of the stereo microscope, the gap between the knife edge and the block is now highlighted and the alignment can be taken to its final stage. Once alignment is completed, the cutting window is set and the specimen placed below the knife edge before the boat is filled with water. Using the top light illumination, the spout of the reflexomat water pump is positioned and the trough is filled with water. The pre-stored speed and feed values are selected and the motor is switched on. As soon as the first fragments are seen to be cut, the speed and the section thickness can be reduced using the control knobs or by pressing one of the five memory lines with the desired section thickness and speed. Using an eyelash, the ribbon is then separated into segments of the desired length. With a glass needle, the sections are transferred to a microscope slide carrying a drop of water. The slide is then placed on the cooler side of the multiplate to stretch and dry the sections before they are stained. 